What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you a small explanatory video about what prestige classes are in Pathfinder, but more specifically, Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. As I wrapped up the base class series, we're moving into prestige classes now, and I figured the best way to start that part of this series would simply be to put out this video, kind of giving some structure, so to speak, of what these actually even are. Prestige classes are, to sum them up very quickly, would be simply that they are classes that have prerequisites before you can put any points into them. These prerequisites can be things like your base attack bonus being at least a certain number, things like being able to cast arcane spells of a certain level, having certain feats, things of that nature. Some of them have fairly lax requirements, some of them have a lot of requirements. Now, prestige classes are typically a specialization of some sort, and they tend to go all in on like one thing. For instance, the assassin prestige class is all about getting sneak attack damage, as well as poisoning things, being able to coat your weapons and then poison stuff that way, as opposed to the spell poison. Now, prestige classes don't come with archetypes because they kind of are their own archetype, so to speak. There's only the one. You can only put 10 levels in a prestige class. Inherently kind of makes them multi-class just by their very nature. Some people don't like using prestige classes simply because they come with some problems. They can be fun, they really can. You just have to be prepared and know exactly what you want to do ahead of time. This is not something I would recommend anyone just play around with if they're actually trying to like beat the game, so to speak. If you have the time to like play around with these classes and see what you want to do with them, you need to make a plan in order to use them. And that's because you need to be aware of the fact that like some of these are going to break your spell progressions. Some of them will carry it over. If you're breaking off to put points into a prestige class, your spell progression on your main class doesn't just magically continue. You have to make sure those things are at least in line with each other and be aware of them as you're putting points into these prestige classes. Before I wrap this up, I do want to mention that technically not all of the prestige classes are 10 levels. There are a couple five level prestige classes, but unless I'm mistaken, all of them in Wrath of the Righteous are in fact actually just 10. As we move forward into our prestige class series, those are kind of some points I just wanted to make people aware of and maybe just make this video to answer some questions to somebody just starting the game or maybe say Kingmaker and having just no idea why they can't pick these classes or something like that. So there you go guys, there's the video. I hope you found it informative. If you did, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Now just truly, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. We are growing tremendously. I'm excited to see all these people subscribing and joining the channel. So thank you. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.